let me tell you what frame of mind you should have. You should think something like this. I don't care what my enemies have done to me in the past. Whatever they have done to me, I forgive them. No matter how many times the thoughts of what they have done comes to my mind, I forgive them. I forgive them no matter what. I forgive them even when it hurts. All I have to do is leave it up to God. At the same time, let me pray blessings for that individual. This is the mind frame you should have. This is the way you should think. It truly doesn't matter what your enemy has done to you. Does God care about it? Yes. But for the overall picture of it, it really does not matter. If you want to get into heaven, you have to let it go. You have to forgive. In some cases, it may not be in your best interest to be around a particular person. Yet, you need to forgive. Some people may say, if you still feel emotionally hurt by what your enemy has done, you have not forgiven them. I don't think that is really true. I believe at times it may take a while to get over the pain of things. Just because you are feeling pain doesn't really mean you haven't forgiven that person. I believe forgiveness has something to do with the heart. And also, I would not say it has something to do with actions alone. I believe a person can hate you and give you money. I believe a person can buy you food and clothes, but don't mean well for you. So if you are looking for actions alone, I don't think it really means anything unless the heart is added into it. So I believe you can't only look for actions to see if you have forgiven a person or not. The heart has to be included. And I believe to some extent, words from our heart will come out. I really hope this makes sense. Stop hanging on to what someone has done to you, including myself. It doesn't matter, figuratively speaking, how deep someone stuck a dagger in your back. Even when you have done so much for them, even when you have sacrificed for them, even when you have went out your way and suffered a bit to help them, you still have to forgive them, even when the pain is so great. I believe what can lessen the pain is choosing to forgive. When thoughts come to your mind reminding you of what that person has done to you, you need to say, I forgive. When it comes to your mind again, say, I forgive. No matter how many times those thoughts come to your mind, I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. I believe what a demon or demons are trying to do is get you to hate your enemy. Get you to be in bitterness. Get you to back away from God and stay in sin. I believe those demons want you to become a worse version of yourself. You can't allow that to happen. You must continue doing what is right. Forgive those people. Pray blessings for those people. Want the best for those people. Choose to be, choose to move on. Don't choose to hate and stay in bitterness. Yes, acknowledge what they have done. Yes, they did this and that to me, but I forgive them. They have done me wrong, but I am not going to do anything wrong back to them. I forgive them. I hope things go well for them. Matthew 6, 
14 through 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So if you want God to forgive you, you need to forgive. If you want to live in heaven, you have to forgive. May God bless us.